A major local jobs announcement, part of the business boom in the growing Clay County. Last night, we told you AT&T is moving about 150 jobs out of New York and bringing them to Clay County. Those jobs will be merged into the call center that's right by Fleming Island High School. News for Jack Scott Johnson is covering Clay County and tells us this isn't the only economic growth in that local suburb. Consider your first image when you drive into Clay on US 17. What was once the Parkway Inn, which was a hotel deemed a nuisance for crime and prostitution, is now a brand new Wawa. Across the street, a new Hampton Inn is about to open, and locals are noticing the changes in Orange Park. So do you think they're improving the area over here by this? Yeah, Wawa probably did a little, it's better than the hotel, for sure. Yeah, have you noticed that it's been improving? Yeah, I've been here for you know a few years, and I have noticed in the traffic pickup too. This is the case up and down U.S. 17 through the town. Businesses popping up. Town manager Sarah Campbell says this has been a focus of town leadership to bring businesses in. She shared this list with me, showing a lot of businesses starting up over the past two years and more on their way. Has this been coincidental that new stuff's gone in or has the town been kind of actively pursuing? developments like that. Both. I think developers have expressed an interest in the town and we have tried to position ourselves to be developer friendly and business friendly because we want to welcome those businesses to our town. The goal of the county's economic development corporation is to keep people who live in Clay working in Clay because right now around 77 percent of the workforce in Clay County leaves the county for a job. Mostly they go to Jacksonville. The announcement by AT&T that it's expanding its Fleming Island call center by up to 150 jobs after closing up shop in Syracuse, New York, is an indication employers are starting to look at what was once a mostly rural county as a place to hire. In Clay County, Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station. Another area in Clay County that's growing is near the Outer Beltway project. We told you last year, Green Cove Springs is expected to grow by 10,000 to 20,000 residents in the coming years.